off to Amiami. Oh, I lost a hair. I lost a hair. So on to Amiami. But I lost a hair. So today, guys, what we have in store for you is uh, some Big Bad Toy Store review of some of these items. Um, I believe most of the stuff that's in here is Demon Slayer uh, or Kimetsu no Yaiba. That's what it's known as in Japan. And um, we did have one Ami Ami shipment uh, that uh, is probably a couple phone rings. But we haven't opened any of these because we wanted to review the shipment of all of these items. I don't remember what we ordered. So they're technically all fine boxes to me. Meh. So let's see what's in here. And uh, we'll let you know if it's available or not. Can I cut it? Do your do. Lordies. Because when I cut it, I don't cut it with like the whole blade, blade sticking out. And I might cut my So good packaging. This is one of the boxes. Uh, we've already received one of these before um, from USA Gundam, but we wanted to get one that was more mint. And this is how they ended up packaging. This bubble wrap is like heavy duty bubble wrap. This is, you want to see, like, I haven't seen this. It's like quilted. <laughs> it's like a blanket. Yeah. Quilted bubble wrap is what this is. But Who cares about the bubble wrap? Let me look at the condition. Um, there's like a little mark right here, but overall it's really good, as you guys can see. The only thing that I was complaining, it's probably not going to show on camera. It's like a little bit dead. Uh, <laughs> but this, compared to USA Gundam, no contest. Like, yes. this box is in very good condition i um, am happy as far as collector's purpose this is this is nice this is like mm -hmm. this is what we wanted before from usa gundam but they did not deliver so that is a numero uno so this is nesuko kamado and uh she is a, there's another actual figure that goes along with this or something similar to this which is tanjiro so if you haven't checked that video, uh, you can go ahead and look at the playlist. There is Tanjiro in there, and we review it in USA Gundam all over. So so on a quick note when it comes to USA Gundam, because we received the item, the box and the item pretty busted, we did reach out and I said I was going to follow up with you with that for you guys. Um, so they did end up giving us some alternative options so we can either return the item free of charge and they will send us a prepaid return label or they can give us an additional discount um, so they were pretty responsive when it comes to that I wouldn't say too responsive it was call. like yeah you have to call yeah. like emailing they they don't respond to emails that great yeah it took like a three-day response and I can't call during their business hours but she was able to and that's how we ended up getting an actual response and some movement on what we wanted so they gave us some credit not credit they gave us uh, some refund towards like a discount yeah, yeah it was like, like, like a 10% discount towards it and then they just refunded it to, to the payment that we used and but their hours are very, very short. I believe they're only Monday through Friday and only four working hours a day. So if you're trying to reach them by the phone, make sure that you are within their working hours or just gotta be patient with your email. But other than that, their you know, solutions are good, but the response time when it comes to emailing, if you don't like to make a phone call, might be a little bit difficult. Yeah. Just know that if you want the figure, go ahead and buy from them. Otherwise, I would say just if you if you want that box in top condition, don't don't go to that website. So box number two, we got another BBT. 
Big Bad Toy Store. And again, the packaging is very, very nice. The bubble wrap is fantastic. And we ended up getting in this some postcards. This and postcard. we got Zenitsu. This is a part of, uh, they have a bunch of volumes for this. They have Zenitsu, this is his true color. I think it's volume A. And then there's a volume B, which is like an off color. And there's also an off color of Nezuko in this volume of boxes. Um, they shipped them, they made them in waves. So uh, we weren't really interested in the off colors too much. Um, it was better off just getting the true colors because, I mean, they looked better. But, I mean, to each his own. Uh, Condition-wise, the box is pretty good. Um, I think that's just how the factory had packed it with the tape. It's a little bit, it's not a big deal, but you can tell all the tape is factory sealed. Uh, I think he noticed from um, our experience that the packaging are always three-sided tapes if you're looking for authenticity when it comes to if it's been open or not. So that's always a good sign. Good box. This one I <laughs> think is, um, I think it's the key poskets. Q poskets. Q posket? Yeah. Key posket? Q posket, key posket. Que pasa? Tu pasa? Tu pasa? Mi pasa? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna open this like you with with the whole. No, 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 you, you can't do it with this because if, if it's too long, you might just that... rip off the blade completely. Oh, now we're gonna rip off the blade. Yeah, because you have we're ripping plastic before. And <laughs> so, same thing um, with the same type of packaging from Big Bat Toys. Some postcards. I really like how they package stuff personally just because even though the item itself it's a very tiny item but they completely surround it with bubble wrapping so this type of wrapping it actually just surrounds it completely even if it's kind of like swimming around in the box you won't get any damages to it and the box did come in perfect yeah, condition this is good perfect condition so this is Tanjiro Q Pasket. Um, there's two versions of him, uh, but this was in this collection. You got Tanjiro, you got uh, Inosuke, and you got... What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Good lord. You know what? He only he was only in like th three episodes. Oh, man, but his name is always escapes me. The frick is his it name? Escapes everybody, I'm sure. If you guys don't remember a character which is somewhat important in the anime, no, he is important. I just but I'm... it's not like he's not important. He's important, but you tend to forget that name. There's always gonna be that oh, one gosh. person. <laughs> he's a good character too. It's just, oh man, names. Give me a face. I'll be like, oh, I know that guy. Names. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is the last box from. BBC and the next box is from Amiyami and I'm assuming this is a very small item just because you can see it's a very small packaging um, in here oh and before we end up going into this one I wanted to mention before if you saw each single shipping box from BBT those are each for, uh, I want to say four dollars shipping um, but you can, each. yes, each. Each box will be $4 shipping. But if you're smart and you're patient, you will leave it in a pile of loot is what they call it on that website. And you can pretty much just put all the things that you buy in that pile of loot and then you can ship it all at once for $4. So if you wanna save yourself some bucks, see this stuff, we weren't like privy to it, but now that's what it is, so. Tips, tips, tips. So on to Ami Ami. <laughs> we have what I'm suspecting oh. to be some key rings. We just don't want to see any paperwork in here. No, it's outside. It's... We got one little postcard in here. This box is so interesting. Look. It's like an accordion, sort of. 
There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Paper, paper, and it's the key ring. Phone rings? Yes. Phone key rings? So I'm gonna slap this on my phone for sure. This is Zoro key ring. It looks really, really dope. And then for Miss Usagi, she got the law I like phone law. key ring. I mean, I would love to show you guys that I have some one there piece dots on, but I don't think it's law. Oh, it's the, the inside. But that. Well, now we show you guys my inside. <laughs> So that is the video for all of BBT. Um, we'll always abbreviate it because Big Bad Toy Story. You could say it, yeah, but it's like a mouthful. It's BBT. like saying a riddle. BBTS, BBT, whatever. All I know is that you saw their shipments. Their shipments are immaculate. Mm -hmm. um, them. Uh, oh. I'm yummy. And right stuff. I forgot. Totally forgot. Totally, totally, totally forgot. But those three are like by far the top for shipments. They're yeah, always on point. Like a book. This, you know what's in here? This is just one manga. This That's is one book. book. There's just, just one manga in here. Look paper. At that. paper. Empty paper. More paper. More paper, more paper. While he's taking that out, I must say, I'm fascinated by the level of quality. The quality of these boxes are just so heavy duty. Like I can do this and I won't be afraid that it breaks. Some of these Amazon boxes that we'd be getting is like, you just gotta lightly touch it and the whole thing just Yeah. But ended up getting chapter eight of the manga series for Demon Slayer. So there's a whole bunch of, um, Spoilers, hello. Yeah. No, actually, no, uh, yeah, this, this is actually a spoiler. But yeah, this is um, a good addition to the collection. I am only missing 10, 11 right now. So I got one through nine. And I am definitely going to read those again because that story, I just want to refresh it and it's fast. So yeah. So that is the whole shebang. This is what we all ended up getting from this haul. A bunch of Demon Slayer stuff mm -hmm. from BBT, Ami Ami, and Right Stuff. So. And two keychains. I keep on calling it keychains. They're not keychains. Phone rings. Yes, phone rings. <laughs> all right. So if you guys like what you saw, let us know which one of these is your favorite in the comments below. Throw in a like and just subscribe if you want to see some more you can check out this video here this video here or you can subscribe thank you guys for watching have a good night bye